reading from John chapter 1 verses 19 to 31 thunder in the desert when Jews from Jerusalem sent a group of priests and officials to ask John who he was he was completely honest he didn't evade the question he told the plain truth I am NOT the Messiah they pressed him who then are you are you Elijah I am NOT he said no I'm not exasperated they said well who then are you we need an answer we need an answer for those who sent us tell us something anything about yourself now John announced I'm thunder in the desert make the road straight for God I'm doing what the prophet Isaiah preached those sent to question him were from the Pharisees. Now they had a question of their own. If you're neither the Messiah nor Elijah nor the prophet, why do you baptize? Now John carefully answered, I only baptize you using water. A person you don't recognize has taken his stand in the midst. He comes after me, but he is not in second place to me. I'm not even worthy to hold his coat. These conversations took place in Bethany on the other side of Jordan where John was baptized at the same time. Welcome, welcome to worship this morning. I hope you're enjoying the August as we begin this continued holiday period. I'd like us to sing Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is the Lord. Important that we sing and know that God is good and God is great. Is the Lord and most worthy of praise The city of our God, the holy place The joy of the whole
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we sit here in the sunshine of our garden in Staveley, we thank you that you have come into our lives, that you give us this opportunity of worship and praise. And on this Sunday morning, may you bless us all. I pray for those who are unable to get out, and this is one of the only ways of worship. I pray for those who will be coming to worship later on, but we just pray, Lord, that you will bring us all together and help us know more of you. Lord, in the comfort of this garden, may we be blessed. May we feel the love of the cross and your guiding hand. Be with those who are on holiday. Be with those that are far from well. And we pray, Lord, whatever denomination our friends are, that you will encourage us to come together and know that you are with us. Be with, in our Salvation Army world, there are new officers going to new opportunities and we pray for them just now. We pray for our friend down in Worksop, a new officer, Jacqueline, and we just help her and guide her in your thinking and may she be blessed by the power of your Holy Spirit. But we pray for everyone who is in that same position. Bless us now as we further worship you. Amen. So God has spoken to each one of us. God is a revealer. Now, going on with our story of John, John saw Jesus. Oh boy. He was coming down towards him and yelled out, John yelled out, here he is, God's Passover lamb. He forgives the sins of the world. This is the man I've been talking about. The one who comes after me, but he's really ahead of me. John had a task to do, to get Israel ready to recognize God. God needs today revealing. And that is why we meet. Christians share together. But John seemed to clinch his witness with this. I watched the spirits like a dove flying down out of the sky, making himself at home in him. I repeat, I know nothing about him except this. The one who authorised me to baptise with water told me, the one whom you see with the spirit coming down and staying, this one will baptise with the Holy Spirit. That's exactly what I saw happen. And I'm telling you now, everyone who is listening, there is no question about it. Jesus, Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. So let's sing. Perhaps we might need some help on the system. Wake up, O oh sleeper. Arise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. A Graham Kendrick song. Once you were darkness, but now you are light. Now you are light in the Lord. So as true children of light, you must live. Showing the glory of God. Wake up! Wake up, O oh sleeper. And rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. Wake up, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Wake up, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Wake up, come on. Wake up, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you.
Now we listen with eager anticipation to the band. We're fortunate in the Salvation Army, although there are not many big bands now, but there are many middle-sized bands that give out their message. It comes from the heart, and I pray that you will be blessed today. <laughs> Invitation. Simple words. You may have seen us walking around in our summer uniform as well. We are here today. 
or in our winter uniforms, our navy uniforms. Some of you may be overseas and there are the mustard uniforms and the white uniforms. But the invitation is all the same. Come, see for yourself. That's an invitation, isn't it? Come, come to the army, come to the church, come and share with us, come and have a nice cup of tea. So the next day, as we are on going with this journey, John was back at his post with two disciples. He looked up and saw Jesus walking nearby. Tia. They said, Rabbi, which means teacher. Where are you staying? He replied, come and see for yourself. And they came, saw where he was living and ended up staying with him for a day. It was late afternoon when this happened and Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard John's witness and followed Jesus. The first thing he did after finding where Jesus lived was find his own brother, Simon, and tell him, we've found the Messiah. That is Jesus. He immediately led him to Jesus. And Jesus took one look at them and said, you're John's son, Simon. From now on, your name is Cephas or Peter, which means rock. And so the next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. We're on a journey with Jesus. And he ran across Philip and said, come follow me. Philip's hometown was Bethsaida, the same as Andrew and Peter. So Philip went and found Nathaniel and told him, we found the one who is Moses wrote about in the law the one preached by the prophets. It's Jesus, Joseph's son, the one from Nazareth. And Nathaniel said, Nazareth? You've got to be kidding. But Philip said, come and see for yourself. So if you feel like that, Jesus, you must be joking. I invite you, come and see for yourself. And Jesus said, to you who believe, a believer simply because I saw you one day and I now believe. Have you met Jesus? Do you know Jesus as your saviour? My friends, the invitation is here for you. Now, come and meet with Jesus. The Salvation Army was born many years ago, 1865, and William Booth is our founder. And he wrote many good poems that were put into music. And so, I invite you to sing along with the band. O oh God of burning, cleansing flame, send the fire. Your blood brought gift today we claim. Send the fire. Look down and see this waiting host. And send the promised Holy Ghost. We need another Pentecost. Send the fire. It's fire we want, for fire we plead. Send the fire. The fire will meet our every need. Send the fire. For strength to always do what's right. For grace to conquer in the fight. For power to walk this world in white. Send the fire. And this last verse. We've all been here 
To make our weak hearts strong and brave, send the fire. To live a dying world to save, send the fire. O oh, see us on thy altar lay. We give our lives to you today, now. So crown the offering now, we pray. Send the fire today. you all and amen